In Buddhism, a sotapanna (Pali: Shrodapana, Sanskrit: Chinese: Rulu Pinyin: Ruliu, Tibetan: Wiley, Argian Jugs, stream winner, or stream entrant, is a person who has seen the Dharma and consequently has dropped the first three fetters (sayohana) that bind a being to rebirth, namely self-view (sakayaditi), clinging to rites and rituals (salabhata paramasa), and skeptical indecision (visikitsa). The word sotapanna literally means one who entered apana the stream soda after a metaphor which calls the noble eightfold path a stream which leads to nibbana entering the stream sodapati is the first of the four stages of enlightenment topic <laughs> attainment The first moment of the attainment is termed the path of stream entry sotapati maga which cuts through the first three fetters the person who experiences it is called a stream winner sotapana. The sotapana is said to attain an intuitive grasp of the Dharma, this wisdom being called right view samaditi, and has unshakable confidence in the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. The Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha, sometimes taken to be the triple refuge, are at other times listed as being objects of recollection. In general though, confirmed confidence in the Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, respectively, is considered to be one of the four limbs of stream winning The Sotapanna is said to have opened the eye of the Dhamma, Dhammakaka, because they have realized that whatever arises will cease impermanence. Their conviction in the true Dharma would be unshakable, they have had their first glimpse of the unconditioned element, the Asankata, in which they see the goal, in the moment of the fruition of their path Whereas the stream entrant has seen nibbana and, thus has verified confidence in it, the arahant can drink fully of its waters, so to speak, to use a simile from the Kosambi Sutta SN of a well encountered along a desert road. The Sotapanna may state this about himself, hell is ended, animal wombs are ended, the state of the hungry shades is ended, states of deprivation, destitution, the bad borns are ended. I am a stream winner, steadfast, never again destined for states of woe, headed for self-awakening." However, the remaining three paths, namely, once return non-return and sainthood become destined for the stream entrant. Their enlightenment as a disciple becomes inevitable within seven lives transmigrating among gods and humans. If they are diligent in the practice of the teacher's message, they may fully awaken within their present life. They have very little future suffering to undergo. The early Buddhist texts, e.g., the Ratana Sutta, say that a stream entrant will no longer be born in the animal womb, or hell realms, nor is a hungry ghost. The pathways to unfortunate rebirth destinations Dugati have been closed to them. Topic: <inaudible> 3 fetters. In the Pali Canon, the qualities of a sotapanna are described as those monks who have abandoned the 3 fetters are all stream winners, steadfast, never again destined for states of woe, headed for self-awakening. This is how the Dharma well proclaimed by me is clear, open, evident, stripped of rags. The three fetters which the Sotapanna eradicates are Self-view — the view of substance, or that what is compounded sankata could be eternal in the five aggregates form, feelings, perception, intentions, cognizance, and thus possessed or owned as I, me, or mine. A Sotapanna doesn't actually have a view about self as that doctrine is proclaimed to be a subtle form of clinging. Clinging to rites and rituals, eradication of the view that one becomes pure simply through performing rituals animal sacrifices, ablutions, chanting, etc. or adhering to rigid moralism or relying on a god for non-causal delivery Rites and rituals now function more to obscure, than to support the right view of the Sotapanna's now opened Dharma eye. The Sotapanna realizes that deliverance can be won only through the practice of the Noble Eightfold Path. It is the elimination of the notion that there are shortcuts to perfecting all virtues. Skeptical doubt, doubt about the Buddha, his teaching Dharma, and his community Sangha is eradicated because the Sotapanna personally experiences the true nature of reality through insight, and this insight confirms the accuracy of the Buddha's teaching. Seeing removes doubt, because the sight is a form of vision dasana, that allows one to know jnana. Defilements 
According to the Pali commentary, six types of defilement would be eventually abandoned by a sotapanna, and no major transgressions Envy Jealousy Hypocrisy Fraud Denigration Domineering Rebirth A sotapanna will be safe from falling into the states of misery they will not be born as an animal, ghost, or hell being. Their lust, hatred and delusion will not be strong enough to cause rebirth in the lower realms. A sotapanna will have to be reborn at most only seven more times in the human or heavenly worlds before attaining nibbana. It is not necessary for a sotapanna to be reborn seven more times before attaining nibbana, as an ardent practitioner may progress to the higher stages in the same life in which he, she reaches the sotapanna level by making an aspiration and persistent effort to reach the final goal of nibbana. According to Buddha, there are three types of sotapannas classifiable according to their possible rebirths. 1. If a man, after the disappearance of the three fetters personality belief, skeptical doubt, attachment to rules and rituals, samyojana, has entered the stream to nibbana, he is no more subject to rebirth in lower worlds, is firmly established, destined to full enlightenment. After having passed amongst the heavenly and human beings only seven times more through the round of rebirths, he puts an end to suffering. Such a man is called one with seven births at the utmost satakatu parama. 2. If a man, after the disappearance of the three fetters, is destined to full enlightenment, he, after having passed among noble families two or three times through the round of rebirths, puts an end to suffering. Such a man is called one passing from one noble family to another Kalankola. 3. If a man, after the disappearance of the three fetters, is destined to full enlightenment, he, after having only once more returned to human existence, puts an end to suffering. Such a man is called one germinating only once more Eka Biji. Topic: <laughs> Six actions that are not committed. A sotapanna will not commit six wrong actions: murdering one's own mother, murdering one's own father, murdering an arahant, maliciously injuring the Buddha to the point of drawing blood. Deliberately creating a schism in the monastic community. Taking another teacher besides Buddha. Topic. Textual references Topic. Suttas The Buddha spoke favorably about the Sotapanna on many occasions, and even though it is only the first of Arya Sangha members, he or she is welcomed by all other Sangha members for he or she practices for the benefit and welfare of many. In the literature, the Arya Sangha is described as the four when taken as pairs, and as the eight when taken as individual types. This refers to the four supra-mundane fruits attainments, phala, and the corresponding four supra-mundane paths of those practicing to attain those fruits. Maga. The Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples who have practiced well. Who have practiced straightforwardly. Who have practiced methodically. Who have practiced masterfully. In other words, the four types of noble disciples when taken as pairs, the eight when taken as individual types. They are the Sangha of the Blessed One's disciples, worthy of gifts, worthy of hospitality, worthy of offerings, worthy of respect, the incomparable field of merit for the world." This is called, the recollection of the Sangha. Sanganasati. It can also be interpreted as, they are the Blessed One's disciples, who have practiced well, who have practiced directly, who have practiced insight fully, those who practice with integrity to share what they have learned with others. They give occasion for incomparable goodness to arise in the world because gifts to them bear great fruit and benefit to the giver. The 55th Samyutta of the Samyutta Nikaya is called the Sotapati Samyutta, and concerns Sotapanas and their attainment. In the discourse numbers of that chapter 1 to 4, 6 to 9, 11 to 14, 16 to 20, 22 to 36, 39 to 49, 51, 53, 54, Sotapannas are praised as Sangha members by and to, the sick, lay followers, people on their deathbed, bhikkhunis, bhikkhus, and devas, and end up becoming the well-being and benefit of many.
Topic: <laughs> Dhammapada. From Dhammapada verse 178. Sole dominion over the earth. Going to heaven. Lordship over all worlds. The fruit of stream entry. Excels them. Chan See also Sudden Enlightenment According to Mahayana Master Bhikshu Suan Wa's Commentary on the Vajra Sutra Ashrotapana is a first stage arhat. Certification to the first fruit of arhatship, which is within the small vehicle, comes when the 88 categories of view delusions are smashed. p. 77 Venerable Suan Wa continues the first fruit is that of Shrotapana, a Sanskrit word which means, one who has entered the flow. He opposes the flow of common people's six dusts and enters the flow of the sage's dharma nature. Entering the flow means entering the state of the accomplished sage of the small vehicle. See also Four stages of enlightenment Topic Notes Topic External Links Thanissaro Bhikkhu, two thousand six Stream Entry, Part One The Way to Stream Entry. Retrieved the twenty eighth of September, two thousand seven, from Access to Insight. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, two thousand four. Stream Entry Part 2 Stream Entry and After Retrieved the 28th of September 2007 from Access to Insight Samyutta Nikaya 1 Translation from Mahindarama Temple Penang Malaysia Jeffrey S Brooks on self ordination taking the title Sotapanna stream winner beginning a new vehicle of Buddhism and using the Buddha's terminology for hierarchy within that new vehicle